Today, we're talking about my impulsivity and poor financial decisions by plotting my cameras on a graph. This is Dill One. He's going to show us the cameras like he works in some sort of auction house. Right, Dill? And this is Dill Two. No, don't, Dill, it doesn't matter. We're all, we're all one, you know what? It doesn't matter. You're number one. You're actually number two. Anyways, he's going to be plotting our cameras on our very precise and very well drawn graph. Our graph consists of two axes. Our X axis is free or gift, impulsive, actually useful, dumb, do I look cool yet? Our Y axis will consist of paperweight, how do I load this, accidentally fired the shutter, I hope that worked, and hell yeah, brother. We have 11 cameras to get through, so let's get going. And first we have the Chinon CE4, which was once my grandpa's or my dad's, I can't really remember, therefore it is a gift. It's a lovely little camera. I'm sporting a 28mm on it right now. It's been used occasionally, but not that much, so I'm gonna go with, I hope that worked. Next, another camera that was given to me by my father or my grandpa. I honestly don't remember which one was which. So, here we are. It is a Nikon FM. Very well-known camera in the camera world, fully automatic film camera. I have literally never used this at all, so we are going with gift and paperweight. All right, the snappy Canon Snappy Q. Impulsive, don't know why I bought this. I think I was in film school and I was like, yeah, I'm cool, I'm gonna buy thrifted film cameras because, I don't know, doesn't work, it's never worked once. Canon Snappy Q, impulsive paperweight, we love to see it. Next, we have a very similar story, mostly because it was bought at the exact same time. The Kodak 835 Autofocus. Also an impulsive, impulsive purchase, also a paperweight. Why? Because it is also broken. Next, we have a very cool looking camera, but also a camera that I've never used. And also, the third camera that I bought with the previous two cameras at the same thrift store at the exact same time. Also broken, impulsive, paperweight. Don't be like me. Moving on. Next. <laughs> Next we have the Nikon Super R8, or R8 Super. I don't really remember. It's a Super 8 camera, as you can tell. Dumb. Dumb. Shouldn't have bought this. I, why did I buy this? I've, the cartridge you see in there is the same cartridge I bought the day, the day I bought this camera. It's never been developed. There's probably still over half of the roll left. How do I even load this? I don't know. That's where we're putting it. Dumb, how do I load? Moving on. Mamiya. We love Mamiya's. Well, actually, I don't like Mamiya's. You guys probably love Mamiya's. RB67. Do I look cool yet? Did I take awesome color photos? Is my name Willem? No? Why the hell did I buy this camera? Why? Why? Shameful. I don't even know how to load it. Do I look cool yet? How do I load? Anyways, moving right along to the next one. Everyone's favorite high-end, fully automatic 90s film cameras, a Contax G1. Obviously, this is a do I look cool yet? But I actually love this camera and I wish I owned more lenses for it and I've started to use it a lot more regularly, but anybody use the G1 or G2 or any Contax, I assume, you accidentally fire the shutter a lot. So, do I look cool yet? And accidentally fire. Moving right along. The lovely Voigtlander Bessa R2M. It's my daily. It's my daily. An actually, an actually useful camera. Hell yeah, brother. I use it a lot. It's my everyday camera. So, yeah, that's where it's going. Actually useful and hell yeah, brother. Okay. Wow, uh, we have two more cameras left. They're both my digital cameras. This next one is a Sony a7 II. You will probably never see this camera because this camera is always the one that is recording. I've owned this camera for probably better how, er, it's gonna say eight or nine years. It's a wonderful camera. It, uh, it does everything it needs to do. My only complaint is that I wish it shot 4K. That's it. I wish I could shoot 4K. Hell, even right now I'm shooting on a crop sensor lens and this is full HD on a crop sensor, so. Whatever, this doesn't matter, that's not why we're here. Actually useful, and hell yeah, brother. All right, and my last camera. 
the holy grail of my cameras, my Fujifilm GFX 100S. Gotta be honest, this is a, this is a dumb purchase. Dumb. This was, I used to, I tried to open a small scale film lab here in my city and it kind of failed miserably. And I bought this camera for that. I wanted it to be like the backbone of my lab, my scanning camera. So it's also got like a bellows system with a macro Schneider on there, 94.5. It's a lovely, beautiful camera. It's cool as hell. I love it. Um, but it was dumb purchase. It was a dumb purchase. Shouldn't have done it. So um, yeah, but it is the camera I scan with. So it gets used almost more than any one of my cameras other than the camera that's filming right now. So hell yeah, brother. So what did we learn? I mean, you, what did, what did you guys learn? This is, this is my life. These are my poor financial decisions. So I didn't learn anything. I just, I just live it, deal with the consequences. If you learned anything, it's uh, probably don't be like me. Anyways, transition. You got me, okay? You got me. Three episodes a week was way too ambitious. Just, <laughs> you knew it, I knew it, we all knew it, but hey, we're here anyways. Gonna reduce it down to, I'm gonna aim for two episodes a week. Um, that, yeah, that's the plan right now. Two episodes a week, either Monday morning, or Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. One of those three days, I'll be releasing videos. Um, just gonna take the pressure off me a little bit. And stop opening my big mouth and saying when and, when and where. You know what I mean? Gonna make lots of content. However, I'm getting better at making content. I'm getting more involved with making content. And as you get, things get more intricate, they get more planned out and they take longer to make. So as the videos get better, they will take longer. You know what I mean? 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 Okay, anyways, it's really early and I'm very hyper. I think that's all I have. I, uh, I wanted to make a video about my cameras because I don't know, people like cameras. People like opinions. I don't know, what the hell are we even doing here? Okay, thanks, love you, bye. Will you guys please like, comment, subscribe so I can attempt to pay for these cameras, please.